In number 7, I have x plus 4 squared equals 9. And note that we have an expression that is squared. The x plus 4, that whole thing is squared, not just the x. And this is okay. I can still solve this by taking a square root. If I take the square root of the left side, it will be the square root of x plus 4 squared. And the right side is the square root of 9. And again, this step typically you would skip. Just remember that the square root of anything squared is just that thing. So the square root of x plus 4 squared is just x plus 4. So I have x plus 4 on the left, and on the right the square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. And then to solve for x, I need to subtract this 4 right here. So I subtract 4 from each side. That leaves me with an x on the left, and on the right I have my plus or minus 3 minus 4. Now, there's two answers here, positive 3 minus 4 and negative 3 minus 4. And each of those will work out to a nice number, and we should go ahead and do that. So we'll just do them one at a time. Positive 3 minus 4 is negative 1, and negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. And those are my two answers. Again, it's very typical for a quadratic equation to have two answers, and these are the two answers, negative 1 and negative 7. And number 8, we'll approach it the same way. We have an expression that is squared, so we can take the square root of each side. And on the left, when we take the square root of x minus 2 squared, we simply get x minus 2. On the right, when we take the square root of 11, we just have the square root of 11. And I'll write it as plus or minus the square root of 11. Again, we could convert that to a decimal, but that's exact. Now, we need to solve for x. We still have this minus 2 over here, so we need to add 2 to each side. And on the left, the 2's obviously cancel, and we're left with x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 11 plus 2. And it's typically written like this, x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 11. And that would be my answer, and I could leave it like that. Again, recognize that this is two answers. 2 plus the square root of 11 is one answer, and 2 minus the square root of 11 is another answer. And for each of those answers, I could get a decimal number, or rather a decimal approximation. But these are the exact answers, 2 plus the square root of 11 and 2 minus the square root of 11. And what we see in these two examples together is that sometimes your answer works out to be rational numbers, and sometimes it doesn't. And that's okay. If it works out to a nice rational number like this, that's fine, but don't expect it to every time.